Hi, this is Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts, here to talk to you about the little subtleties that Satan tries to lay when he lays traps and snares to catch us up <clears throat> into a cobweb of foolishness, a cobweb of self-destruction, and we walk into it not realizing what it is. So let me share something with you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here we go. This is Proverbs chapter 7. Then we'll finish with Pat's two cents. Ready? Starting at verse 5. That they may keep thee from the strange woman. From the stranger with flattereth with her look with her words. Now. Before we go any further, that is the lure of sin. That is temptation, enticement, ooh, enchantment. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Verse 6. For at the window of my house, I looked through my casement and beheld among the simple ones. I discerned among the youths a young man void of understanding, passing through the street near her corner, and he went the way to her house. Now, I'm going to stop there for a minute. You know, I got to interject Pat's two cents here and there to help you understand. When you are going near her house, what you are doing is you're toying with the things of Satan. Uh, you, you know, maybe some of you like X-rated movies. Woo! Look at them boobs. Look at that thing, boy. It's hanging. It's hung like a Shetland pony. You know, you get enticed and you get all turned on. Well, that's part of the street near the corner. And he went the way of her house. Okay. Uh, let's try a little cocaine, a little crack. Oh boy, you're just going to send you flying. You're going to have a sensation you ain't never had before. Yeah, that's part of that. That's all enticement, enchantment, and intrigue. Okay, uh, <clears throat> man, we're going to gamble. We're going to go to Vegas. And boy, you're going to win some money. Now you're thinking, ooh, money, honey. Ooh. And then next thing you know, you get so caught up in the gambling the spirit takes hold of you and you're trapped in a web. And you will sell your mama, you'll sell your car, you'll sell your house down the river in order to get one more shot. Yeah, at Lady Luck. It's all that type of thing. Okay, now, I think you get me. <clears throat> okay, and I'm going to read this again, verse 7. And I beheld among the simple ones, I discerned among the youths, a young man, void of understanding, duh, okay, passing through the streets near her corner. And he went the way to her house. You get it now? In the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night. Don't we like to do our dirt in the dark, in the back, in the corner? Yeah, okay. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of a harlot and subtle of heart. Now, you know, Satan, this Pat's two sets, Satan is not going to tempt you with something scary, uh, spooky, or ugly. He's going to tempt you with what you like. Yeah, you like that? I give you all you want, baby. <laughs> I got something for you. Yeah, okay. I think you hear me on that. <clears throat> she is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. Now is she without outside. That's what without means. Now in the streets and lieth in wait at every corner. So you know we're talking temptation because how can one woman lie and wait at every corner. Okay, so you know we're talking about the spirit of enticement and the spirit of seduction working 
to draw you in. Oh, come on, baby. Come into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. All right. Now, here we go. So she caught him and kissed him and with an impudent face said unto him, <clears throat> I have peace offerings with me this day, have I paid my vows. Therefore came I forth to meet thee, diligently to seek thy face, and I have found thee. I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry and carved works with fine linen of Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come. Let us take our fill of love until the morning. Let us solace ourselves with loves. For the good man is not at home. He has gone a long journey. You know, here's the truth. The good man is not at home. He has gone a long journey. How many of you think that God isn't watching you? How many of you think God is so far gone and so caught up in big in the big things of the universe. He ain't got time to look at you and the little nonsense you get caught up in. Don't fool yourself. He knows. All right. <clears throat> so, so you know the good man is going on a long journey. Now, he hath taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the day appointed. In the meantime, that's me talking with her much fair speech. She caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips, she forced him. You sucker. That, that's me. He goeth after her straightway as an ox goeth to the slaughter or as a fool to the correction of the stock. Till a dart strike through his liver. Uh-oh. Something just tried to kill him. And a bird hasteth to the snare. And knoweth not. Duh. Dum diddy dum dum. Didn't even know that he was attacked. <clears throat> Something's trying to kill him. <clears throat> Excuse me. And knoweth not that it is for his life. Listen, dum diddy dum dum. It's for your life. Satan comes, this Pat's two cents. Satan comes to kill, steal, and destroy. He hates you with a cruel hatred. Don't think you can buddy buddy with him and get on his good side and start getting all kind of powers and goodies. The powers and goodies are the lure and the bait. The Butt whooping, you know what I really want to say. The butt whooping is your reality. If you buy in to the lie. Mm. Hearken unto me now, therefore, O ye children, and attend to the words of my mouth. Let not thine heart decline to her ways. Go not astray in her paths. For she has cast down many wounded, yea, many strong men have been slain by her. Her house is the way to hell, going down to the chambers of death. Let me share something with you. I remember my husband, my late husband, my sweetheart. He was telling me that when he first got saved, you know, the Lord had to deliver him from one of his favorite drinks was Hennessy. And he liked to gamble and he was a bookie and he, you know, he did all kind of stuff. Okay. And he said that when he got saved, he was up to there with the nonsense and the BS of sin and the lies that come with it. He was up to there with it. God knew he was through. And when he gave his heart to the Lord, God delivered him in so many ways. And let me tell you this. Down through the years, he would visit his friends to try to witness to them. And all he saw was deterioration, 
those men grew older, sicker, weaker, because they were still caught up in the mess God delivered him from. He's looking young and sexy and together, and they were looking old and beat up and bedraggled and used up and spit out. Because that's what Satan does to you, baby. Have you ever seen a dope addict? Have you ever seen somebody who just started out tooting and smoting and snorting and all that stuff till they graduate to the spoon and the syringe? Well, let me tell you something. I saw a dope addict. The dope addict looked like a skeleton with skin. No color. This is a black one and a white one no color, and they sat down to get high together. This was in my stupid, unsaved days. I'm riding in the car, not knowing I was riding with a dope dealer until the dope dealer dealt some dope, and I had to wait for him to get paid after the guy shot up, and I was shocked at how hideous they looked, and here's the trick. Listen to this. They were as young as I was, but they looked like old, beat up, shriveled up, shrunken, lifeless zombies. No color. It was almost like they were void of blood. No color, no consciousness. They were literally walking around like they could barely figure out where the syringe was. And how they could get their high on, you know. I mean, they were unconscious on their feet. That is what enticements, enchantments, intrigue, the spider's web will do to you. Satan comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Jesus says, I have come that you might have life and that more abundantly. Never shall the twain meet, one or the other. You have to make that choice. You choose.